All right, hello. It is a minute and 20 seconds away from the start of Adrenal Code Day 5. I'm currently streaming this on Twitch, so if you're watching this on YouTube, um, head on over there. You can subscribe to me there or follow me or whatever you do on Twitch. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, and yeah, we're a minute out. I've already set up my uh, test infrastructure here. I'm strategically starting my recording, <laughs> you know, a minute before so that I don't have to edit. I'm not going to really do any edits on YouTube, it's just going to kind of go up. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to need the full test code treatment for today, but we'll see. Let me get the input, get input script ready. All right, 15 seconds here. Three, two, two, go. Oh, shoot, that looks horrible. All right. Let's save that. I forgot to save it last night. All right, well, I'm gonna actually read this one. From two to one. Okay. So we have a bunch of steps. So I guess this is the, the challenge. And I want to now... Okay, so it's going to be a string this time. So we're expecting a string out of this, which means this needs to return a string. Return empty string for now is fine. All right, let's parse this. Um, Must compile. Uh, this is going to be annoying. Um, I guess here, let's do this. Whack D, no, whack, no, whack S, or whack W. There we go. Um, space. Read, I find all string submatch line. Negative one, I think. Uh, where's the wrong type? Test code?
D Oh shoot, I also need to capture so there's two cases. Right, there's that or one, two, three, four. Okay. If y zero equals one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have um a list of string, I guess. This is gonna, this is annoying because I'm reading it in like this, right? So I may have to transform this. I do have a columns function though, which is useful. Yeah. Okay. In this case, I want Y one. Z, what, wait, oh shoot, oh shoot. Um, okay, that's not ideal. Oh, right, um, if line equals is just empty, then It's going to be Oh wait, no, I have all ends here.
44. Oh, that's bad. Um, what is the line? The line is empty? Right. Okay. Okay. All right, this is reasonable. Um, so now I have to process the rows into something a little bit more sane. So each stack, I want it to be an actual stack. Um, I guess with the front of the list. Oh, that's not going to work because it's, it's, multi it's different dimensions. Um, shoot, uh, how do I determine the, um, max list? Uh, I'll just do, I'll just do a for the four. If r dot if then r less than or equal less than or equal uh, r is less than the length, then Um, DRS append list of strings, and then we're going to do S and I dot append Yeah, let's just append, I guess. We'll just use the front of the list. Um at i as i equals that okay now let's print out data d
Okay, finally, we actually can uh, <laughs> do the moves. So m dot from d dot stack m dot from zero uh, zero move d dot s m dot from equals t dot s and dot from one onwards and then t dot s dot and dot two equals t Oh, this is less than s dot uh, m dot s. Oh wait, no. Uh, um, len of b dot s i plus plus um, and plus equals d dot s i zero dot. No, wait, that's it. Oh. K line seventy eight. Ah, um, right. CMN, what? <laughs> All right. Um, time to print out the stacks. So I'll just do this. Oh, why is there an empty? That's not good. That's not good at all. Ah, uh, yeah. Um R I does not equal empty list, empty string. There we go. Cool. What is the answer? MCD. All right, so part one went somewhat horribly. That's okay. Right. Um, 
comma there. All right, so part two, what am I supposed to do? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So, basically the way that the moves get processed is just a little bit different. Um, uh, I, I want to... So, what do I want here? Ah, okay, so here, top n, s, d dot s, n dot, dot from, ah, uh, m dot count. up to end dot, end dot count. D dot s dot from equals d dot s end dot from end dot, uh, end dot count onwards d dot s end dot two equals top n and top n d dot s dot n dot two dot dot dot. That's not correct. Um, uh, what? Ah, uh, I, um, I am not surprised that GPT bots got destroyed today. I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. that. That was, I mean, I'm not surprised. This, this is not an easy problem. It's hard for me to under, okay, what am I, what's, what's going, what's going wrong? Like, okay, so what am I even logging? <laughs> Uh, let me log I, I, okay, so something's going wrong here. Something's going very, very, very wrong. That's not supposed to be NZ. Okay, so I'm taking the top n off of the from that's what i'm supposed to do right like from stack one to stack three means that i moves in the same order resulting in this new configuration so dnz so it's going to be dnz p that's totally wait NZ DCM P. Okay. And then after it just got totally 
broken. What did I do wrong? No, D and Z. And then CM. Where did CM go? CM died. So this was, this is from one. So this one will be zero. So from zero to one no wait no sorry this move three from one to one from one to three or wait no the first move failed Why doesn't this work? Maybe I don't really... Maybe I'm not allowed to do this. Oh wait, shoot. I'm looking at the wrong thing again. From. Uh... This still looks fine. I mean, do I need to like deep copy this? That's probably what it is. I think this will do it. There we go. Okay. That was that was interesting. I wonder if there's a better way of doing this. Um, copy a slice to another slice. Oh, is this like literally just a copy? Okay, let's see if I can do this. Top end copy. Oh wait, no, it's it's like you still have to make the the integer or make the make the thing. Let me let me let me um before I screw things up, let's get this saved and committed. That into the test. All right. Um, how did I do? I didn't didn't crack top one thousand. So two thousand, three thousand. Okay, this is uh, eh, eh, fine. Um, let me fit this. Um, okay, I guess um, Let's see anything interesting in the chat here That was really hard to parse it was like super annoying I need better utilities. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so parsing just took forever. Honestly, my delta time, I'm not too mad about this. I guess it did drop me some places, but I don't know. Like, I'm not mad about not knowing about how the, the how the string or like how the l slices worked. Um, like, I I'm really not at all disappointed about that. I did move up a little bit, looks like. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to catch up to Jaden at some point here. Not if he keeps doing that, though. <laughs> that was a good delta time. Yeah, okay, my delta time was pretty bad, actually, now that I look at it. Like, again, though, like, th this is, this was annoying. I, if I was... Yeah, that that that's that's slightly unfortunate. I I, sh I think I'm gonna add some utilities to help out with copying slices, cause like, I mean, I, that's like half of these problems. Um, ah, oh, you just hard coded the chat. <coughs> Jaden said he hard coded the stacks. That's uh, that's the smart thing to do here. Um. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay, so what do I need, want to do now? I I, I want to clean up this because it's it's kind of atrocious. I, I don't know what to clean up. Uh. Yeah, let's see. I guess, I guess looking through these a little bit more would be useful. Copy, like the copy function seems nice, but like it, what I want is like a copy function that, that um, figures out the length, right? Like that's what I care about. I think the copy function here is more like, you know, the C copy function, which is fine, but not when you're trying to do this sort of stuff. Okay, so first of all, stacks, moves. Um, this was probably a bad idea. For parsing. <laughs> I don't know though. Get rid of that. I think I can get away with just doing Y1 all the time. Yep, okay. Because Y1 will be an empty list. Which is nice. Um, where's the other log that's happening? Oh, I think it's here. And there. And somewhere else that I'll delete later. There. Hmm. Hmm. This was fine. I forgot to continue like an idiot, so that cost me like a couple seconds. I think normalizing it to zero base was a good idea, but I did that a little too late. Um, is there a better way of doing this? I mean... I think this is a reasonably go go furry way of parsing this, so I, I I'm not too too sad about it. Um, 
I should have just used map, I guess. The, what are the parameters on this thing? Int. Oh. Right. Okay, so dot. Um, Oh, I have what max list function. I forgot about that. Rows. And the function is this function here. Oh. Why does. Oh, this can be any. There we go. Okay. Um, I just need to remember my, that my library exists. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else is there to do? This was not very elegant. I didn't like this very much. But I don't know. I, I think it's reasonable, like like whatever. I am not too too unhappy about this. Just clean up a little bit more. Don't need comments. What is this? Production code or something? in stacks. Okay, that's a bit more elegant. And then I want a uh, copy function, I guess. Funk copy slice t n e. Um, and then, uh, I want make a list of t of size len input copy input output return output is this how the copy works
number of elements copied. So top and copy slice. What if it's just uh, all the way there? Huh. Why didn't that work? Um, what? This is not good. What? Where did it go? Maybe this is not how this is supposed to work. Like, what? Is, what is? What even? Uh. Oh, I, I think I, I I went the wrong direction. No wait, destination yeah, destination is output. That'll do it. There we go. Okay. All right, that seems pretty decent. Yeah. Let's go with that. All right, uh, that's day five. I guess maybe I should explain what the problem is or something. Or explain what I was thinking. Nah, rather not, it's kind of annoying. Let's just go with that. Uh, I think I'm gonna call the stream here. Um, and let's go raid somebody. Uh, so let's let's see who is still streaming. If anybody has anybody, if anybody knows anybody who's still streaming at this point, uh, let me know. And looks like looks like uh, Anthony Wright's code is still streaming. Let's let's actually raid Juicebox Hero. Raid. All right. See you all tomorrow. Uh, if you're on YouTube, um, thanks for watching. I will see you later.